I am Dr. Alexander Jacob IPS, retired Dark General of Police of Kerala. Though I am a Christian, I was really wondered by the mystery of Mradanga Shailashiri Temple. I was a police officer. I came to know about this temple from four theft cases which happened in the temple. In 1979, thieves came to this temple. This temple was the ancestral temple of uh, Purili kings to which the great Parshiraja belongs. Now, the idol in this temple is almost 1.5 crore worth uh, because of its Panjaleha, Panjaloha constitution. Now, it may be valued much, much higher. In 1979, a set of thieves came. They broke open the Sangnam Sanctora and tried to lift the goddess. They managed to lift the goddess to about 200 feet away, but then they could not lift the Devi to their vehicle and they abandoned and left the place. In 1983, one year after I entered the police service, another set of thieves came. This time, the gang belonged to Tamil Nadu. They took the goddess and travelled towards Tamil Nadu. For 41 days, there was no indication to the police where the goddess is heading to. At that time, a prominent sage came and he told that the goddess will come back before the 43rd day. Now, the thieves on the 41st day wrote a note and left the idol on the on the side of the main highway to uh, Tamil Nadu, the Palakkad Coimbatore Highway. The note said, "This is Murdanga Shailashiri goddess. This uh, idol has to be taken back to Murdanga Shailashiri." But the Palakkad police, Palakkad district police, never knew where this Murdanga Shailashiri temple existed. So they searched in Tamil Nadu. By the time the idol was brought to the main police station, each one who came to the police station suddenly felt as if to prostrate before the Devi and pray to the Devi. Some brought Aval and Malar, the traditional form of worship for Devi temples in South India. Yet another people brought coconut oil and they started lighting the lamp. And within two hours, the police station was slowly being converted to a Devi temple. At that time, police sent a message throughout Kerala. Have you any idea about Bradanga Shailashiri temple? Then Kannur police replied that Bradanga Shailashiri is in, uh, near Iriti in Kannur district. And they brought the Devi back to Iriti. Now, usual Tundi Madal or the stolen items are carried in a jeep and then brought to the storehouse of a police station and kept there. But since this goddess became almost a temple-like formation inside the police station, they informed the Brahmin priest in uh, Iriti. From here, the Brahmins went to Palgat after uh, doing all the prayers that transferred her to a ratham like structure and with police uh, uh, accompaniment, the goddess was brought back to Bradanga Shailashiri and reinstalled at that place. When I was Tarashiri ASP, the goddess was again lifted. This time, they tried to remove the goddess, but they managed only around 200 meters and then they couldn't transfer her out. From the temple premises up to the place where goddess was found, there were signs of urination and defecation. But the, we never knew that it has something to do with the theft attempt. Then I came back after four years as superintendent of police, Kannur. And this time, a gang came from Karnataka. And they lifted the goddess, transferred her across the western hill, and they reached Vainar district. 
they kept the goddess in a lodge for 72 hours there was no indication where goddess is heading to but on the third day afternoon the thieves called the police station they said we are in lodge number so and so in room number so and so we have the idol of the goddess of uh, mrudanga shailishwari please come and take it to mrudanga shailishwari temple and by the time police rushed to the place all thieves have fled uh, the place again the police took care of them did all the prayers inside the lodge carried her on the ratham and with accompanying with the police we brought her back to mrudanga shailishwari temple now three of these gangs were caught later while i was a dig of police in northern range in 1996 the three gangs were captured when there was a, a temple theft squad trying to solve the mysterious cases of earlier they tracked down the real culprits in three cases the fourth uh, attempt was made by whom is not known all the three sets of thieves the the set to which came from uh, tamil nadu the set who which came from uh, karnataka and the team which came from malappuram all the three gangs told us the same story the moment you lift the goddess they lose sense of direction they don't know which is north which is south which is east and which is west when they drive a vehicle with a with the goddess the vehicle cannot be driven straight it moves like a snake curving and curling and then going on the road and the thieves will howl with a uh, fear that any time the vehicle can go into a ditch or a great uh, gully any time and the second thing they told was the moment they lift the goddess their fingers become loose without their consent they urinate and defecate when they carry the uh, goddess inside the car the urination defecation will make it impossible to carry the thing in a car now thieves do not have their own vehicle sometimes they hire a taxi and within no time the taxi car driver will tell the fellows get out because you are defecating and urinating in the car it is impossible to drive further now each time when a theft has happened we used to tell the villagers and the temple people we will keep a police guard here because idol is worth more than 1.5 crores and if anybody lift the goddess to america the price will be still higher the villagers and the temple uh, authorities told us we don't require police help goddess know how to guard herself every time the thieves come they may uh, seize the goddess and take her a little further but they, she will come back she doesn't want any god she know how to come back by her own strength even now there is no god now the confidence of the villagers and the devotees come from the point that no attempt to take her away have succeeded i am a christian but i am wondering at the power of the goddess now this goddess have some specialities number 1 in my memory there is only one goddess in kerala which is supposed to be goddess of music now kali worship is common in throughout india and usually kali goddess is pictured with a with her tongue protruding out with the blood smeared on her tongue with a skull hanging from the her neck and human fingers are cut off and made into a ring around her waist now this kind of a form which is pictured usually in pictures make little children fearful about the goddess but in mrudanga shailishwari the goddess is in a beautiful form shankaracharya the greatest malayali ever born he wrote his shanga uh, his uh, great poems and vaidyarana samigal the shringeri madadibadi in the 13th century wrote the famous book shankaradigvijayam 
in that Shankaracharya pleases the goddess and goddess comes out of the idol first as Mudevi, then as Lakshmi, then as Saraswati, then as Durga, then as Sadi, then as Parvati and in the seventh time she came out in the form of goddess Kali. But when Kali goddess appeared, Shankaracharya started reciting Vishweshirin in Kanaka Kalebara Darsaname Paramanandam Anandam Paramanandam Anandam Sachidanandam. Goddess Kali is pictured as a very beautiful goddess. Now, Shankaracharya's great sloga is reflected in the idol at Murdanga Shailashiri. Here, the goddess is pictured as a beautiful lady. Second thing, it is the only goddess who have a musical instrument adorned with her in the Kali form in Kerala. So it is a musician's temple where musicians can come and uh, pray for a better performance in the next uh, concert where they are going. Now the word Murdanga Shailashuri itself denotes a connection with music. Bradangam is a great musical instrument used in Carnatic music and the uh, whole uh, hill appears like a Mridangam from a distance and uh, the goddess is called Mridanga Shailashwari connected with a musical instrument the name of the goddess is derived. So it is one uh, form of the goddess in which a musical instrument is connected with her form. And this was a temple which is situated at a place called Murakuna. Murangoga in English means to reverberate or to resonate. Now the whole hill belonged to a goddess of music and the hill and the temple used to resonate with great music. And people used to call it Murakuna, the place where music is being resonated throughout the temple festival as well as the normal prayer times. So, hill is connected with music, the goddess is connected with the music and Kali Bhagavadi is pictured as a music goddess, the only place in Kerala like uh, the Mridanga Shailashiri temple. Now, Mridanga Shailashiri temple is associated with intelligence. One of the great miracles which happened there happened to Vidwan Tamburan, the great uh, prince who developed Kathagali in Kerala. One of the miracles in this temple recorded around 250 years ago is a history connected with Vidwan Tamburan. Vidwan Tamburan is the great king who shaped Kathagali, the great art form and dance form of Kerala which became known in all the seven continents of the world. This Kathagali was drafted and designed by the Kotayam Raja or the Vidwan Tamburan who came from Parsi uh, dynasty. And this king, when he was young, was deaf and dumb. He was a moron. He didn't have intellectual growth. So the, his parents decided to have this child to the adulthood is a risky business. So a part of this temple is called Kumara Thara, in which a brook comes from the Purili hills and flows as a waterfall and goes uh, and flows near this uh, temple. So the parents uh, abandoned the child at Kumarathara to die there. But the child started praying to Mridanga Shailashuri temple and remained in the Kumarathara. Goddess Mridanga Shailashuri appeared and gave the child wisdom. He made the child without any abnormalities. From a deaf and dumb stage, he became somebody with all the five senses. And from a moron stage, he became a very intelligent person. Such a person later came to be known as Vidwan Tamran. Vidwan in Malayalam means scholar, a scholar king. And he was the person who later designed the whole of the Kathagali as we know it now. He is known in Malayalam literature as the Kotayan Tamburan or Vidwan Tamburan. There was a problem in those days. Only male people will dance in a Kathagali. 
females will not dance in kathagali vidwan tambran thought why deny human women this great task so he came to mrudanga shailesuri temple and there is a pond in front of the temple so in front of that pond he squatted down and started praying to mrudanga shailesuri uh, goddess after one and a half hours he heard a sound of something coming out of the waters in the pond he opened his eyes and looked he was flabbergasted goddess mrudanga shailesuri is emerging out of the water in the female form of the kathagali he blessed him and disappeared and uh, vidwan tamaran immediately realized the goddess is showing him the way how female characters have to be introduced in kathagali now all the female characters in kathagali now we saw and now we enact throughout the world is actually in the form mrudanga shailesuri showed him this pond was in an abandoned uh, condition so the temple of authorities approached the government and the government have constructed this pond with the embankments and protected it now anybody who takes bath in the pond is supposed to get rise in their artistic life so many film heroines without chances come to the temple pray and they become great heroines in the film industry so many musicians come they have a dip in the pond and pray in the madanga shailesuri temple and they rise very high in their artistic life many carnatic musicians of kerala have taken the blessings of madanga shailesuri madanga shailesuri temple is a temple where impossibles happen i am a catholic and in catholic church there is a saint saint jude because jude iscariot sold jesus christ to the romans the other jude in among his disciples jude todeus was awarded with a great boon by jesus christ that is if anything is impossible you pray to saint jude it will happen i am a great devotee of saint jude like saint jude of the catholics mrudanga shailesuri temple is a temple where impossibles happen i myself is uh, a witness to some of these great miracles k karnagaran a four four time chief minister of kerala he found himself politically isolated in the 1980s he was the unquestioned leader of kerala congress congress party and acc had full trust in him but in 1969 congress divided for the first time and in 1978 the congress split again and this time his rival faction along with the udf parties formed one front and the left parties formed another front karnagaran was left in the lurch his chances were getting dimmed he came to mrudanga shailesuri k karnagaran originally belongs to kannur his family is associated with the charakal rajas of kannur so he had heard about this temple so he came to mrudanga shailesuri sarkum uh, traveled around perambulation around the temple three times and then he squatted on the ground and prayed to mrudanga shailesuri Three months later, miracle happened. A.K. Anani returned back to the Congress. K.M. Mani left the, uh, the LDF and came to UDF. And within six months, K. Karnagaran was back as Chief Minister of Kerala in 1982. He became Chief Minister three more times. He had implicit faith in this goddess. So what he did was, in 1991, when he became Chief Minister for the third time, he summoned me i went to the chief minister's office he said i want to make this temple a national temple prepare a proposal to me for submitting it to the central government so with all the history and details about the temple i submitted a paper and brought it to the chief minister chief minister took it to delhi and submitted it to narasimha rao the prime minister of india but somebody objected in between 
and it, it did not become a national temple. Perhaps the goddess wanted it to be a temple where devotees have to directly come there. Now, in police we had another instance. We had two brilliant officers in Kerala police. One was Jairam Padikal. Usually an officer to get the president's medal, 15 years service is required. The only officer for him before completion of 15 years in the 12th year itself, the chief minister recommended a president's medal for uh, Jairam Padikal and the central government awarded him a president's medal in the 12th year of his service. It was an unprecedented thing. Jairam Padikal was perhaps the best investigator Kerala police ever saw. Now, along with him, another brilliant officer was, uh, was uh, Madhusudanan, T.V. Madhusudanan. Both of them, during the emergency days, got involved in the Rajan case. Though they were innocent in the case, they were charge sheeted as accused. They remained in jail for about nine months, got bail, and then the trial was about to start. At that time, everybody thought that they will be convicted and they will remain balance of their services in jail. T.V. Madhusudan sir at that time, he belonged to Kannur. He had heard about this temple and its impossible uh, uh, nature of granting impossible things. He told Jairam Padikal, our only, one second. T.V. Madhusudan sir told Jairam Padikal sir, our only solace will come from Bradhanga Sailachari. She is the goddess of impossibles. Jairam Padikal sir and the T.V. Madhusudan sir came to Mridanga Sailashari, perambulated it three times, prostrated before the goddess and prayed for rescue from this case. An idea hit their head. In Kerala, the case is sensational and punishment is possible. So they shifted the case on a longitude on the other side of Madhuri. And in Tamil Nadu, the case was not sensational. So ultimately, both the officers were uh, acquitted in the case and both of them came back to the Indian Police Service. Both of them ultimately became Police Chiefs of Kerala, DGPs and Police Chiefs of Kerala. And both of them became jail DGPs where they spent nine months time and they retired from the Police Service with the due recognition and promotion. Badanga Sailishri goddess did the impossible for both of them. While I was SP in Kannur, one of my DVSP did in their children for 14 years and the colleagues told him, only Badanga Sailishri goddess can help you. So he went with his wife and prayed at Badanga Sailishri temple. He got twins. Two boys were born to him after one and a half years after he went and prayed in the temple. Both of them are brilliant engineers now working in, in the government uh, service. So many impossible things happen. And one of the most important impossible things happen in that place is especially connected to the deaf and dumb children. So many deaf and dumb children, they are brought to this temple by their mothers. And they circum travel the temple and pray before the temple. And so many children who couldn't speak, who couldn't hear till the age of three, four, five, speak after they pray in the temple. So this kind of miracles happen. Musicians who come to the temple reach very high positions. Artists who come to the temple, finding it difficult to climb in the ladder, suddenly climb to great heights. This is the miracle of the temple. So many film producers and directors, when they find that uh, their film career is coming to an end, they come to the temple, pray, and suddenly they will make one film, and that film will hit a jackpot, and all their debt will be wiped off, and they come and become very rich people. This temple is a temple with great history. This temple is supposed to have come into existence 
around 1200 years ago according to the recorded history.